Hello, I'm David Finlayson from Chesapeake Technology. In this video I'd like to highlight a few tools in our 3D Viewer application that you may not have already discovered. Today we've got a project that has a bathymetric surface and draped over the top of that is a nice side scan image. So let's open this up in our 3D Viewer. To start, click the Tools tab, then click the 3D Viewer icon. So it's pretty easy in the 3D viewer to just use the mouse to grab onto the scene and slide it around. Uh, you can uh, rotate it, zoom in and zoom out. But sometimes um, it's handy to be able to use keyboard shortcuts. And SonarWiz has uh, shortcuts built in for all the different manipulations that you'd want to do. So for example, if I want to zoom in or I want to change the vertical exaggeration, I can rotate, I can I can slide the scene back and forth. I do this a lot with uh, the character keys, or here we are. This makes it more obvious. Uh, you can also do this with the middle mouse button, but if you have a trackball, you can't use the trackball in here. So how do you remember all this? Well, if you hit the H key for help, it'll bring up this uh, heads up display that shows all the keyboard shortcuts that are available in the viewer. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you, uh, is this heads up display. So now the second thing I want to show you is our ruler tool. So let's find a target here that we can measure. So it looks like um, over here in the upper right hand corner there's some targets. So let's zoom in and get those arranged. Like okay here's a pipe. This would be a good thing. Okay so to open the ruler tool click on tools, ruler, and this opens up the dialog here. Uh, the first thing you do is set the measurement unit and now we can click at the beginning of the pipe and the end and we see it's about uh, ten and a half meters. And here it is, the measurement there, the length. So let's measure this barge here. So we click once there and once there and we can see that the barge is about 41 meters long and here it's about six and a half meters across. And we can even measure uh, depths because we have uh, the height of it because we have the depths. So we can see here that's about two and a half meters high. So that's the ruler tool and uh, that's the second thing I wanted to show you today. So let's close this. Now the third thing I wanted to show you was, uh, see there I'm doing some sliding with the keyboard. I want to show you our profile tool. So go to rule or tools, profiler, and then select the grid that we're going to profile. This way, if you have more than one elevation grid, you get a profile across the one that you're most interested in. Okay, so select that, and this opens up the profiler uh, view. And we can stretch this out. And then the next thing we do is just drag a line across uh, the grid where we want to see our profile. And it shows the whole thing in 3D. So here at the top, you have a nice image of uh, the profile, and we can change that size. You can control the color ramp that's used uh, here, and all of the ones available in SonarWiz are there. You can also um, export the image, like we have here, and I've already done this once, so I'll probably complain a little bit. Or you can export the raw data by clicking here, and it'll send it out as an XYZ file, which you can then pull into Excel. So that's our profile tool, and that was the third thing I wanted to show you. So. The final thing that you may not know about is that the viewer has a nice little movie tool. It's pretty simple, but it works well. So the first thing you do is you open up the dialog here and say where you want to save the movie. Uh, again, I've already done this once. You set the size of the movie that you'd like to record in the pixels and then the frame right here. And then you click OK. Now the viewer application resizes so that it's the same size as the movie that you're going to be recording. And then uh, what I like to do is just use my keyboard and I'll slide it around a little bit uh, and highlight the features that I'm most interested in. And every movement uh, that you make at this point is recorded in uh, a Windows uh, media file, which you can then play back uh, using your favorite viewer. So here we'll stop and take a look at our movie. So close this. Um, I save the I save the movie in my project folder, so go to SonarWiz and get the project folder, and then 3D view, and then double click your movie. So here it is playing. So that's the final thing uh, you might not have known about our 3D viewer. If you'd like to see more feature highlights like this one, follow our YouTube channel. 
To become a SonarWiz expert, join us at our next training workshop. For more information about SonarWiz training opportunities, visit our website at www.chesapeaketech.com. Thanks for watching.